Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our first break of the day is 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball, a full 12-box hobby case. Pick your team number three from the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for making us part of your Thursday. There's the case. Bowman was the case that they gave me. And here is Thursday, the 27th. 12 boxes hobby, and here's everyone in this break. Thanks to everyone for getting in. Ben with double last spot mojo, Royals and Yankees. And then there's Heather, who got the Angels straight up, too. And there's everyone else. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Good luck to everybody. Now let's pop open this case. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. We should have a lot of fun today, a lot of breaks to do. A lot more Bowman Chrome baseball to get into. Got Thursday night football to watch. Big matchup. Vikings at Rams. They are here in L.A. All right, so we've got three here. A stack of three right here. Three right here and another three right there, so that'll make 12. All right, let's go from this side. Let's work our way around the horn. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Not too many baseball games today. My baseball picks are for the Thursday, the 27th, for entertainment purposes only, of course. The Mets, even money, plus 100. The Pirates at plus 140, the Tigers at plus 110, and the Kansas City Royals at plus 140. All high-risk value plays, but plays that I think could work. None of those games have started. I think the Braves and Mets are warming up right now, according to MLB.com. For you football fans out there, again, for entertainment purposes only, I've gone with the Rams laying 7 points. Rams minus 7. I figure I just keep riding the Rams. I mean, a lot of experts seem to be saying, oh, this is the spot where, where the Vikings can do it. Seven points for the Vikings is pretty good. You know, they, they still got a good team. The Buffalo game was just an aberration. But I don't know. Traditionally, teams, short week, traveling on a short week, I don't know if that, that really sits right with me, especially with, with how... How well the Rams have been playing. Everyone's like, well, the Rams haven't played anybody good. Yeah, but I still think they're clicking on all cylinders. They're still at home. They don't have to go anywhere. I think they can do it. All right. Mini box number one. Each mini box has an on-card autograph. Like this guy, Daniel Gonzalez. For the Bo Sox. So Ricky Buffalo drawing first blood in this break. He gets the first hit. 116 out of 499. We're sending all these Russell Wilsons too, by the way. Roberto Osuna at a 250. So we'll top load these. But just in the interest of time, we're just going to sleeve them, put them off to the side. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. So the, uh, the Osuna will go to EA and the Blue Jays. Kyle Lewis will go to, the, uh, go to Michelle and the Mariners. All right, next mini box, next autograph is going to be Dustin May. Nice Dustin May for the Dodgers. We haven't seen him yet. Blake on the board. There you go. I think a nice uh, nice prospect for a uh, huge fan of Whataburger restaurants and a golf enthusiast. Nice. Uh, you sell Antuna out of 4.99, and we got Green Shimmers 42 at 99. Bo Burrows, 
Bo Burrows for the Tigers. That'll be Derek. And the Antuna for EA and the Nats. Set those right there. We'll go with this box. We'll just go across the f first row. Thursday's a travel day in baseball, so not a lot of action here. Uh, the Astros-Orioles game was postponed. I'm assuming rain. California, we might get a little bit of rain early next week, ladies and gentlemen. Rockies beat the Phillies 5-3. to three. So Phillies not helping my Dodgers at all. So now with the Dodgers off today, that means the Rockies must be up by a solid, solid game, I think. Maybe even, yeah, maybe a solid game, I think. Or maybe two. Either way, the last three games of the year for the Dodgers is going to be huge against the Giants. Excuse me a second here. Right. Next two mini boxes. Kyle Cody for the Rangers. That'll go to Michelle and the Rangers. Roberto Asuna, refractor out of four ninety nine. Adam Hazley, Joey Lucchese. Another Asuna for the Blue Jays for E8. We've got a redemption here. Any guesses on that redemption? There's Tony Santillan for the Red Legs out of 499. Goes to Sanford. Purple Shimmer, Garrett Hampson, 235 out of 655 for the Rockies, EA. All right, so behind Chase Pinder, you are due to receive a Bowman Chrome Prospect autograph of... S, no, J, Joe, Joey, me, Lucchese. Joey Lucchese for the Padres. Um, that will be for Jeremy Merle and the Friars. Nice one. He's been making some nice starts this year for the Friars. Land is asking, is there another pick your team after number five? Yes. Yes, there is. But we got to fill four and five first, so help us out with that so we can actually get to pick your team number six. All right, next two mini boxes
I should have had the, the MLB Top 100 Prospects list open. They recently updated that. Maybe I can get to it in between some of these pack openings here. Top Prospects. Under Players. Oh, there we go. I'll drop this link for everybody. I think they, I'm pretty sure they recently updated this list. But I know that Bowman will feature a lot of, you know, a lot of young players coming up the farm system. And aside from the biggest of names, I, I know a lot of times most people are going to be like, I really don't know who this is. But you'd be shocked at how well they may sell on a secondary market. That's the allure of, uh, of Bowman products. So even the even the seemingly the most random of names. Oh, I think the relic is right here. So let's do that. So even the most random of names could could sell for a lot on a secondary market. So always be sure to look up your guys. Uh, like Trevor Oaks for the Royals. Looks like a little scratch there from the manufacturing. Trevor Oaks Royals. That'll be for Ben. Last spot mojo. Most of these guys are often, um, even if they don't crack the uh, top 100 MLB prospects, a lot of times these guys are top 10 like organizational prospects. There's Bryce Wilson at a 250. EA with the Braves. And some Austin Allen, eight, 7 out of 25. Not 87 out of 25, that doesn't work. 7 out of 25. Orange Shimmer. Nice. Enjoys iced coffee with not fat milk. There you go. We know his coffee order, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jeremy Merle with the Padres. The Padres have a sneaky good farm system, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's save that Relic Auto. Let's see what parallels we have first. Ronald Acuna Jr. How about that? I've heard of this guy. 31 out of 50. That's just a little fuzz right there. Nice. That card is gold for EA and the Bravos. Nice one. And nice Bowman Sterling Otani. I did see a Acuna Arizona Fall League card. I don't think he's going to be playing Arizona Fall League anymore. All right, nice Otani for Heather, who has the Angels. Actually, top load that, too. I'm sure even these inserts for for a guy like him will, will do pretty well in a secondary market. All right, let's see what that patch auto was. The patch auto is going to be behind Garrett Hampson is... Whit Merrifield, nice. 18 out of 150. Jersey and auto. Cool Whit Merrifield. It was like 40 stolen bases or something like that this year. So nice. Good, good year for him. I feel like he kind of came out of nowhere, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe Royals fans knew about him, but... I certainly did not. Too many pro prospects. Too many prospects. Hard to keep track. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody.
Let's see what we got in this mini box. Good luck. We got Ryan Helsley. Blue Chrome autograph for Lee and the Cardinals. That's 38 out of 150. Clint Frazier refractor. We'll take a look at that number in just a second. Clint Frazier, 461 out of 499. For the Yankees, that'll be for Ben. And Willie Abreu for the Rockies. That goes to EA. Another one for Eric. Nicknamed what? Nicknamed Walk Off Willie. Oh, okay. All right. There's Anderson Espinoza for the Padres out of 4.99. Dakota Hudson, Austin Riley out of 6.55, purple shimmer. Supposed to be another bigger name in the Braves organization, I think. Yeah, first late first round pick in 2015. Next box. Now we've got another pick your team case of this available right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. And we also have, I know someone mentioned, I think Michael Rinderman mentioned this a little bit earlier. Um, be sure to check out the website for those three box, uh, the three box random team breaks. That's the HTA Choice Edition. That's the Jumbo Edition. Only three cards per box in a three box break. So nine cards, all autos. So nine autos per break. So give that a shot too. Nice way to get maybe a bigger team for a might get them randomized to you at a low price. All right, for the Mets, uh, we got Luis Gior Giorme. I'm gonna go with Giorme out of 499 for the Metropolitans. That'll go to Joe Ivers. Nice refractor auto, you know, number 10 Mets prospect. Johnny Cueto for the Giants. Mitchell White. And the Cueto is out of four ninety nine for the Giants. Big Boys 007 with the Gigantes. And we've got a... Redemption, a Bowman Chrome prospect autograph of Loisiga, Jonathan Loisiga. I think he is a Yankee. He is. He is a Yankee. That goes to Ben and the Bronx Bombers. Nice one, Ben. He is also the number 73 overall prospect, according to MLB.com. We've got Rafael Devers and Chris Torres. A couple parallels back to back. Let's finish off this pack. And another one, Dylan Cease, Purple Shimmer, Victor Robles, Arizona Fall League. The Devers, Blue. Ricky Buffalo, that's out of 150. Chris Torres, purple, is out of 250. EA with the Marlins. 
And Dylan Cease for the White Sox. Brian Sawyer with the out of 655. All right, so New York teams hidden. Next box. Good luck, everybody. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. About we're just about halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. I see about four orders coming in, so I think just since we're halfway through the break, now is probably a good time for me to take a sip of tea. It's at the perfect temperature now. Um, Probably a good time to check out what teams are remaining on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. See if we can pick up some players. I did drop the link to the to the uh, top 100 prospects list that I'm looking at right now. So that might help you determine which team uh, or teams you want to pick up for the next Pick Your Team break. Well, of course, we'll have the three box random team breaks, which are really easy to do. Those are a lot of fun as well. Some may argue that they see... Uh, they see a lot more parallels in the random editions. But obviously more chances to hit in the pick your team edition, and you get to pick your team. So a couple different options for everybody. A little something for everyone. All right. Next one here. Good luck. We got another Willie Abreu. Purple autograph for EA and the Rocks. 110 out of 250. There's Albert Pujols out of 499 for the Angels. That goes to Heather. Next mini box. We have Connor Capel. That's kind of a cool auto. That'll be for the Indians. Michael Tran with the tribe. Number 12 Indians prospect. And we've got Ton. Tyler O'Neill. 25 out of 25. Nice one for the Redbirds. Lee for the Cardinals. Remember how he t signs his cards? T-O-N. Looks like T-O-N. Looks like Tun. So our friend Tun. There's uh, Sheldon Noose. Uh, purple Chrome out of 250. Got Buster Posey. We got Carter Kaiboom at a 655 for EA and the Nats. And that Victor Robles, and we'll hold on to one of those Otanis for Heather as well. Still haven't seen his auto yet. Still got plenty of boxes to go. Stick with us, folks. Stay tuned. You may witness an Otani autograph or a redemption. I think he might be redemptions. Either way. <laughs> And I think we've only seen one of this guy, right? So those those two characters on the front of this on the box and all the packs have been a little difficult to uh, to obtain. Maybe this box. Good luck.
Next one. We have Green Auto for the Orioles. 33 out of 99. Mike Bowman. Bowman and Bowman. Goes to EA and the O's. We got Dustin Fowler and Nick Allen. Two A's right here. Nine out of 50 on that gold one. These are both for DMAC, Darren McKenzie. And you get the Dustin Fowler purple, which is out of 250. There's Luis Robert for the White Sox. Yelich at the very end. He might win the. I win the MVP, right? Now the, these these vet base won't ship, but Brewers Scott V, this guy could be an MVP. We'll sleeve one of these up for you. Could be an MVP, right? All right, and for the Angels, Leonardo Rivas. For Heather and the Angels. Number 15, Angels Prospect. There's Nick Allen, 499. Thought I missed one. Got Nate Person out of 655. And there you go. Um, EA is asking. Kind of switched. It's a longer break, so I don't mind talking other sports in a break like this. With Rashard Matthews NFL hats on now, kids. With Rashard Matthews being released from the Titans, should the Titans go get Des Bryant? Why is why is no one signing Des Bryant? Does Des Bryant want to play? I feel like he does want to play, right? Couldn't hurt to have Des Bryant. You know, maybe in a different clubhouse, whatever his alleged antics are will be a little more diminished. You know, just have him go out there, throw the football to him, see what happens. He would still demand some sort of coverage. could only help everybody else. If the money's right, why not? For the hobbies asking, how come for a uh, 100 green auto high tech goes for less than a 100 green Bowman Chrome? Uh, Bowman Chrome and Bowman Baseball, Bowman Draft, uh, they tend to be um, a more popular product in terms of prospecting, in terms of rookies. So most collectors tend to tend to value these sets a little bit higher than uh, sets like Tech, prospect-wise. So when when people are like grading, when people are talking about, oh, remember that, remember that Strasburg rookie that went for a million dollars, or like that Otani super fracture that went for a million dollars, blah blah blah. They're usually cards from Bowman, Bowman Chrome or or Bowman Baseball, one of those sets, Bowman Draft or something like that. So that tends to be like the the pinnacle of uh, a rookie card. Nice. Bowman Sterling, Royce Lewis, 46 out of 99. On-card insert autograph for Michael Golder and the Twins. Your former number one overall pick, maybe just a year or two ago. Nice. Oh, 2017, last year. He might be, the, might be a big star for the Twins. That's a nice one. Iron Monkey in the house saying, I believe Chrome is king. That is what the cool kids say. EA says, I would take Des Bryant. Why not? Yeah, why not? My, 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 only, my only thinking about why not is that maybe he's just asking for too much money. Maybe he thinks he's worth more than he actually is in a, in, at this point of the season. There's Dakota Hudson out of 150, Cardinals, Lee, and Tyler Maley for the Reds goes to Sanford out of 250. 
you would think that you think that Dez would want to play, you know, at least play on like a like a show me contract, you know, like bet on himself, right? There's Edwin Rios for my Dodgers, Blake Simpson. Like he bets on himself. He's like, "All right, I'll take I'll take less money, just let me go and play." Number 12 prospect in the Dodgers organization. Just let me play. Let me show everyone what I can do, and I'll be a free agent again. Try to get a try to get a big contract. But yeah, maybe maybe his locker room issues. I don't know. There's Peter Lambert for the Rockies and a nice uh, T.J. Zuk, Arizona Fall League Atomic Refractor, 84 out of 150 for EA. It's in the game. And the Blue Jays. That's a nice looking one. Uh, Alicia saying Browns made an offer like that and, and he just wanted more. I also feel like he's trying to angle his way into a team that can get him a ring, right? I feel like if the Patriots came calling, he would have said yes. If the Packers come calling, he'll say yes. Twi uh, twins. Vikings. David Pearson. David Peterson. 112 out of 655. So I feel like he's also trying to not only just play, but play for a team that could get him a Super Bowl ring before he, you know, he's on the sunset of his career. He knows that. So I feel like that's another thing too, but how many how many Super Bowl caliber teams are are going to take a shot at him? Potentially disrupting the chemistry of that clubhouse. Although, I don't know. If your team needs a wide receiver. Or if you're a team that doesn't need a wide receiver. Right? Take a flyer on Des Bryant. If, if, he, if he turned out to be a problem in the locker room, just release him. Are you saying that Green Bay couldn't use another wide receiver? At least get him on board. If not, just release him. No, I don't. We don't need him. Vikings don't want another person to throw. What doesn't doesn't want to give Kirk Cousins another receiver to throw to? Put Des Bryant out there. Who would at least command some attention, just on name name recognition alone. Why not? If it doesn't work out, if he's a a cancer in the locker room, release him. It's not like baseball where. They have guaranteed contracts all over the place. At worst, you're out. At worst, you're out of signing bonus. But he wants that guaranteed money, then that's what Alicia's saying. I, yeah, then find it really hard that anyone's going to take a shot at him unless there's like a, a catastrophic wide receiver injury. I don't know. We'll see. All right, next mini box. And there's William Contreras, which I, I learned from someone. I forget who it was. Was it Eric Bailey? Michael Renderman? Someone. I forget who. Sorry, that someone. But someone told me yesterday that that's Wilson Contreras' brother. Does it say on the back of the card? It does. Younger brother of Cubs catcher Wilson with two L's. Contreras. Goes to the Bravos. Eric EA with the Braves. Jack Flaherty and Nick Senzel. We'll check those numbers in just a second. Along with Ryan Mountcastle, one of the best last names in the hobby. He's a castle mount mounter, folks. Ryan Mountcastle. Jack Flaherty. Captain Jack Flaherty, 270 out of 499. For the Reds, Red, Le Red Birds, that goes to Lee. The Red Legs, Nick Senzel, goes to Sanford. That's out of 250. And the Mounter of Castles goes to EA at a 655. On this side, our autograph is another Brave, Brett Cumberland. Like the, isn't the aren't the Cumberlands a mountain range? Francisco Lindor for the Indians. Michael with that one out of 150. A 
And we got Keston Hiura for the Brew Crew. Garrett Cooper had three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. Stay on target. Now, I, I see five orders in here now. So what do we want to do after this, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe about 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, it was time to think about a break. Now, if you want to do another break right after this, now it is time to act. Go to jazpiecehobbyland.com, buy a spot or two, build some momentum. Let's get something going. Now, after a big new release night tonight, Thursday Night Football on to, or after a big new release night last night, Thursday Night Football tonight, and with payday for a lot of people being tomorrow, tonight might be a little on the quieter side. So that's why it's important to build the momentum now, ladies and gentlemen, start picking up a spot or two. That in just one order or two may be enough to convince another person to get another order or two in and get someone else off the fence, etc., etc., and then get another break to break so. All right, TJ in the house as well. What's up, TJ? What's going on? Alex Wells. Any relation to David? That goes to the Orioles. EA with the O's. Is this David Wells' kid? Uh, no, but he has a twin brother, Lachlan. It doesn't say. I'm sure it would say. There's Nelson Cruz and Seabold. Remember how David Wells pitched a no-hitter? Perfect game, maybe? A no-hitter? Hungover? There's Connor Seabold. Out of 499 for the Phillies. That refractor will go to Scott. And the Nelson Cruz will go to Michelle and the Mariners out of 499. There's Kevin Maiton for Heather and the Angels out of 655. I forget how the story goes. Was the story like was was the story like he I didn't, I think he didn't think he had to start the next day. There's Carter Kaiboom. Kaiboom for EA and the Nationals. Nice. 334 out of 499 on that refractor autograph. Another solid youngster, late first round pick in 2016. Coming up the ranks. I think he, he got some starts in for the uh, got some starts in for the Nats. I think David Wells didn't realize he was starting the next day or didn't read the schedule wrong or they pushed a start up. And then he went out and thought it was an off day, had some fun, and then Hey, you gotta start. Oh nice. EA was looking for that one. There you go, man. Are the Nationals going to re-sign Bryce Harper? I don't think they are. I mean, I think they'll make an offer. But I don't think they're going to be too aggressive on chasing him because I think they got a lot of prospects, a lot of good prospects coming up the ranks. You know, why not just why not just call them, start calling them up? You know, you got Juan Soto already up there. He's a revelation. I think he's like a year or two earlier than what they expected. Victor Robles is going to be up. Carter Kaiboom saw some action this season. I'm sure, there's some others there too. I think Trey Turner's still on the young side. Still have, still have, I guess they still have Adam Eaton for a number of years. I think they got Scherzer still around for three or another three or four years, right? So we'll see. Uh, I will put up Pick Your Team 6 correct. Yes, after number 4 and number 5 fill, then Pick Your Team 6 will go up. So 
So fill up four and five, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to lead off with Dylan Tate. And we've got Thomas Nito out of 499 for Joe Ivers and his Mets, Refractor Auto. What's up, Joe P? Otani Count Zero, believe it or not. There's Jake the Snake, Silence of the Lambs, 354 out of 499. Diamondbacks, that goes to Eric Bailey. We got Trevor Stevens, 99. That goes to Ben and the Yankees. That Victor Robles is, is numbered. At 250, looked a little different. We just need his ink right here. That's right, that goes to the Diamondbacks, the Dodger Killers, just in the regular season. All right, let's see what the autograph is here. We've got Jose Gomez for the Phillies. That goes to Scott V. I know, this is your World Series, Joe P. I'll give it to you. You guys can knock the Dodgers out of the playoffs. Uh, Tony Sant Santolin, 18 out of 50. That'll go to the Phillies. We've got another Philly, Connor Siebold, another one for Scott. We got Matt Tice. There's Goldschmidt. It's Albius back there. And we're down to our last box. You think the Dodgers will actually get in? They're trying very hard not to, Joe. <laughs> That's very, which is very concerning to me. Rockies won again today, 5-3. And the Dodgers are facing the Giants. And I guess if they don't get in because they, they, they couldn't beat the Giants, I don't, then I guess they truly deserve not to get in. Because they wouldn't be in the playoffs. <laughs> All right, last two autographs, ladies and gentlemen. Um, only baseball happening right now is in New York. Mets hosting the Braves, still middle of the second inning, no score. We got Pirates Cubs a little bit later tonight. Cubs trying not to blow it. We got Tigers at Minnesota. Indians are in Kansas City, and the Rangers are in Seattle. That's it. That's it for your Thursday slate of games. And then we have the last few uh, the last few games of the season for most teams starting tomorrow, which will be crazy. And then playoff baseball before you know it. That's a good time of year. So we've got October playoff baseball. The NFL and college football in full swing. Hockey season is starting in like a week or two, right? Basketball preseason will be starting. Basketball start at the end of October. Are we are we chasing the are we chasing the cup in NASCAR? I'm pretty sure that's pretty active right now. So we're, we're in a good, sweet spot of sports, ladies and gentlemen. I have a lot of new releases. Got a brand new website coming out next week. We got Kyle Cody for the Rangers. Gold for Michelle. There you go, Michelle. That is 49 out of 50. There's Jake Lamb again. Out of 99. It's another one for Eric Bailey and the Snakes. Got Royce Lewis. Saw his autograph on that card a little bit earlier, which was cool. And the last autograph is going to be right here. Here. There it is. Joe Dunnan.
EA with the fish. It's your last auto right here. It's got a ways to go. There's DJ Daniels out of 499. Let's see if we have another parallel. We do. Bo Burrows to 655. And we close out with Todd Frazier, the Todd father. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball, 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team three in the books. Pick your team four and five are available right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And after that, we'll post another one. So check it out right there. And we'll see you and break with you. Uh, we'll break with you next time. We'll have, we have all night, folks. Let's do it.